So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at you, just an inspection from the end of the bed, so don't mind me for a minute. First, remember the general observations that apply to any system. Apply these specifically to the cardiology exam. Is the patient well or unwell? Are they awake and alert, drowsy or asleep? Comment on the patient's colour. Comment on whether the patient is overweight, cachectic, fluid overloaded or dehydrated. Is the patient breathing comfortably or are they dyspneic? Look for equipment or devices that are attached to or surrounding the patient. Are there any leads or stickers attached to the patient? Comment on whether these are ECG, telemetry or AED stickers or leads. If there is a telemetry monitor visible, you may comment on what is being displayed. Comment on any cardiac specific medications around the patient, such as glycerol trinitrate spray. Is the patient on oxygen? If so, how is it being delivered and at what flow rate? Note if the patient has an IV line and if receiving any medication or feed intravenously, check the bag and comment on what they are receiving. Look for any implanted subcutaneous cardiac devices, such as an implantable cardioverter defibrillator or a pacemaker. Note the presence of a urinary catheter and any mobility aids. Note the location of the patient. For example, a patient may be on a general ward, in a high dependency unit or a coronary care unit. Note any signs around the bed. Finally, note the presence of any additional cardiology signs. De Musset's sign is where the widened pulse pressure of aortic insufficiency results in bobbing of the head with each pulse. Mitral facies are rosy cheeks with the surrounding bluish tinge of cyanosis, which is seen in severe mitral stenosis.